Hello, here is a bisected kidney specimen and uh, we can see the cortex, the columns of Burton and the renal medulla and here is the renal pelvis with some adipose tissue. Turning this around, we can see the renal capsule and this kidney is an adult kidney but it has retained some of the fetal lobulations. So the abnormality here lies in the renal cortex and we can appreciate that the cortex is actually uh, quite pale in colour in contrast with the uh, medullary pyramids and this is because there is diffuse cortical necrosis and this necrosis extends into the columns of Burton. Let's compare this with another kidney. Comparing these two kidneys, uh, we can see that on the left is the kidney that we were looking at and on the right is a different example and this is actually a kidney with uh, two areas of focal infarctions but we are going to ignore this for now and actually look at the other areas which are normal and you can see that the cortex uh, is different in colour compared to this abnormal kidney with cortical necrosis. It is a lot paler in this kidney with cortical necrosis. So one of the useful ways to actually appreciate pathology is to compare uh, different cases either grossly or microscopically. And in fact if you also compare the colour with the medulla it is quite starkly different in the necrotic areas. So cortical necrosis of the kidney may be bilateral and diffuse, in which case it is life-threatening. Uh, the patient will present with complete anuria and then uh, severe uremia. Uh, sometimes it may be patchy and unilateral, in which case the patient may actually survive the event and give rise to then cortical thinning and scarring. The etiology is often due to blood loss. For example, in obstetric emergencies uh, such as placental abruption, there is severe loss of blood, uh, in septic shock, and also in you know perhaps prolonged or extensive surgery where there is massive blood loss. Uh, however, the pathogenesis is poorly understood. What we see on microscopy is actually very similar to uh, what is seen in uh, disseminated intravascular coagulation as well as thrombotic microangiopathies. And uh, sometimes there may be little microthrombi within the glomerular capillaries and also the arterioles. And you can see in this example that there's actually necrosis, coagulative necrosis of the cells in the surrounding uh, tubules within the renal cortex. So in summary, this is a case of cortical necrosis in the kidney where the renal cortex is pale and necrotic and the renal medullas are preserved and viable. And if this is bilateral and diffuse, it could result in fatality.